Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 91 decode ways. So this question is really popular and uh, often asked in the interviews. Uh, so the question itself is uh, pretty easy to understand and you can see the example right away. We're trying to um, decode this problem back to the uh, ABC uh, character. So now you can see uh, we have input a string all integers right here. And one is representing A, B is representing, I mean, two is representing B, then 12 itself representing L in this uh, mapping right here. Um, so that's two ways you could write in A, B or a single L for this 12. Now, uh, another example right here, uh, you have three ways to uh, write this problem. Pretty cool. And also can start with zero. So the zero is um, no way. So it could cannot be mapped to anything else. So uh, this question can be solved easily with the DP. So let's take a look at that by writing some code. First, we make a table array that have a link um, as yeah, dot link plus one. We want to have, we create one more space for the zero. So if the problem is, if the input is 26, and then we will have a index that start with zero always. And let's take a look at the code again. And we will make a table zero, which is the index zero equal to one. There's one way as default and table one have to depend on the first letter of the input, which is two. So if two is not zero, that means there's one way to solve it. So at dot chart at is equal to zero or not. Is zero, there's zero way to solve that problem. Otherwise it's one way. So now we have, let's see, um, we have one here and you also have one way to solve. Like you have one way to solve the zero and one way to solve two. That's cool. And the dynamic programming is when you step on this, right? And if this fall into one to nine, which means there's one way to solve this problem. And if this is case, we copy the previous one number in here. Because at one, definitely the same, um, to the same way as before. So same way as before will be one here. That is also one. But also check another condition is to check the last second digit in here can is falling on 10 to 26. So that is another way to in decode this problem. Uh, so at that time, we'll add, go back to this position minus two, which is here, have one way to solve it. So we'll also add this one into the location, current location. So that's the case. So now we have two ways for this location. If this two digit, it doesn't fall into this range, and that case, we don't need to add anything because only one way and then keep copying the previous solution in here. Then that's how we solve this. So as we know, we have I equal to started with the this letter, which is one, actually it's two. We look at two first. and table link. Uh, 
And starting from two, starting from here, we check. Um, if check this one, uh, the condition, which is first, and this is second. So now we have int uh, first will be integer. Let's start sub string that and minus one. Second to integer. Mm. So start substring minus two. Actually, first is current number six, and second will be uh twenty six. This two digits. So now we check if first bigger than or equal to one and less than or equal to uh, nine. So which is falling in this range. Then we copy the previous one. Minus one. If this is a valid uh, number first, and then copy the previous one. If the second in here, the second digit fall into the range, twenty six, right? And um, that's the time that I also plus or equal to table minus two. So now uh, if this is valid one, we copy the peers one. If this two digit is valid one in this range, we have to copy uh, the current location minus two and plus and add it to the location. This is a different between the here and here. So after you add all those solution, and what we need to do, we'll accumulate the maximum to the, the end of the table now. The table, we just return it. How many ways we can de uh, decode that one. So the table dot lane minus one. So that will be the last uh, integer in that array. Okay, in teacher. Cool. And that's it for this question. Uh, hopefully you get it and make you feel a little bit better. If you have any question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.